members of the Occupational Safety and Health Department, the Joint Services, the National Advisory Council, and the Ghana Geology and Mines Commission are benefiting from a five-day floating production and storage offloading vessel, FBSO, training. Well, the training is very informative and knowledge, knowledge sharing. It will benefit me tremendously since the Guyana Geology and Mines has a petroleum unit. And most of those um, engineers, most of the, the staff in the petroleum units, they will visit from time to time. They will have to go out there and do auditing, do inspections. What I'm going to say is that what we've learned here, um, there's going to be on continuous training. Um, so the other persons would, should be able to benefit from, from that. Going on from here, we're going to have an inspection schedule. And um, at the appointed time, the inspections will be carried out on the FPSO. Those were just two of the participants who benefited from the five-day floating production and storage of loading vessel FPSO training. The initiative is a collaboration among the Ministry of Social Protection, the International Labor Union, and the Department of Energy. Occupational Safety and Health Consultant Gwen King noted that the exercise will equip the professionals with the knowledge and skills to conduct health and safety inspection on FPSO vessels. We have brought in all our officers. We have, it's 11 of us, and all 11 are there. Region 2, Region 5, Region 6. We have the officer who is responsible for Region 10. Though he's not located in Region 10, he's here. He's located in Georgetown. Trinidad-based business crisis consultant Garth Vincent, who spearheaded the training, highlighted some of the areas of focus. Some of the areas that we have covered so far, again, with the FPSO being something new to them, obviously we want to start with some of the terminologies, right, in terms of some of the parts that are mentioned. Then we, we are moved up into what you call the layout of the vessel, where we would know the, the key areas that, of the vessel, and of course, tie that back to of, uh, the areas that they would actually need to inspect, assess, and audit. From the Department of Labor with videographer Akeem Thomas for InfoHub, I'm Mayanna George.